this Mr. Silver Knight 759. I'm going to do the church camp today. First time I've been out detecting. Uh, I'm almost to the church camp and, uh, and it's pretty neat. The grass is all kind of cleaned up. It's pretty neat. I like that. I like that turn going to church camp because you never know what you find. From 1818, uh, you know, it's, I'll probably do this field nice and sunny out, 55 degrees. I'll do the church cam, got the gate locked. He might be on vacation or something, so I might have to go somewhere else. I might have to go to the park. Alright. Yeah, this is Mr. Silver, 9759, just arrived in the park. Uh, it's 55 degrees out. Can't can't beat that for February 1st. Um, yeah, I'll go down to the park, see if I can find. Maybe I'll find that ex exclusive gold coin. But uh, I want to tell you about the Temerity magazine is out today. Um, go on... Uh, they're the editor of TemerityMagazine.com and uh, view that magazine or put it on Google or something like that if you've never viewed it before. But uh, he's for he's he's sponsoring uh, one of the hunts at uh, international coin shooters this fall in uh, near Philadelphia. I'm having that. Um, it's August 25th to August 26th, and uh, you can come, come and have a enjoyable time, and um, a lot of laughs and a lot of a lot of prizes. Probably I'll get like ten thousand dollar worth of, worth of prizes. We might have a metal detector this time, so uh, come and join the fun. That's going to be uh, the 25th to the 26th of August. All right. Too much talking and no not, no treasure hunting, so see what I can find. Monster tree that fell. Damn. Pulled all kinds of shit up. Might have to go check around that. Man, I, I remember detecting around there and finding wheat pennies and stuff. Might have to detect that. It'd be I might might have brought some seeded coins up or something. All right, get back to you. Find something. His son hurt the rivet from the Civil War. I found these before, but not as not as as small. That might have the design on it or something, but yeah, that's pretty neat. On top of the ground, not even a half inch deep. All right, get back to you. Yeah, if you want to help the international coin shooters, send me these pull tabs. I'll be greatly appreciated. Either that or them beaver tails, the older ones. And I want to, uh, Tim Merity Magazine, Chad, he's going to sponsor that hunt. It's from 10 to 12 Sunday, I think at 20, uh, August 26th. He's going to promote that, um, one of the, one of the hunts. And you send these pool tabs to me I'll get I have the address on the on the end end of the video um, I'm gonna paint them blue or red or pink or whatever and bury them and it's gonna be uh, he's gonna donate a lot of prizes and uh, I'm gonna put them in boxes and you have to find the right pool tab to get the box so all right. See you later. Yep, I dig everything up. I think it's a looks like a lid off a milk can. 
Yeah, man, that's that snake is about, I don't know, two or three inches down. Alright, go to the next. Yeah, I found a, a pigeon band goes around the bird's uh, feet there, or leg or something. Found them before a couple times, but uh, that's good to find there. All right, get back to you. A battery dead. I have to put the put the new batteries in there. Yeah, I didn't find nothing over that tree, but two, two, uh, pull, uh, pull tabs and pull tops, but there's a, a penny on top of the ground. It's this park, usually when you find a coin, they're on top of the ground, right underneath the leaves. I don't know what this is, maybe it's wheat, maybe it's Indian head. It's a wheat. Yep, I think it's a wheat. That's a wheat. Yep. It's a first for everything. On the board for the wheat. Yep. I've been over this many a times. That's where I found that barber dime up in the air. I'll now miss this, but that gave me a nice, nice signal. I'm using that uh, Coin Master 3. I usually use for uh, treasure hunts and competition hunts. Got the deep scan on it. It's a little light for me. Usually I use the 6dB, but all right, get back to you find something else. Yeah, this is the um, RFFI filter for. Uh, I put it on all my detectors and loops and all that, but if you want to buy one, it's three ninety nine. I charge about three dollars uh, for shipping, and if you buy order two, it'd be fifty cents extra for shipping. So, um, or you can buy it off of eBay, but if you want to buy it off of me, just directly off of me. I just. Uh, Send them out for three ninety nine plus three dollars shipping. Um, you can go underneath power lines. That's supposedly for power lines, and you get erratic signals from computers or machinery or something like that. There's a good, a good for the speakers too, and uh, preamps and stuff like that. You can if if you want to go on eBay. It's my, my name's. Uh, Perry's dash milk bottles dash Perry's dash milk dash bottles. You can go on eBay and buy it off of there, or you want to buy it off of me directly, I'll just send it out. But uh, the Energizer batteries, they, they went out on me. Um, there, there's three of them there. Takes three of them to run this detector, but they, they they do good. I bought them off of eBay, two chargers and three sets of batteries. But yeah, they they do good. So we'll get back to hunting now. Yeah, if I was, thought it was golf ball. It's a look like a bocce ball or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm they made them back in the 1800s, 1900s or something. Real heavy. But yeah, sometimes I use them for uh, that little pin for um, a bocce ball. Alright, get back to you. Just found the buckle. Pretty rusty. I don't know if that's Civil War or before or whatever. Oh, it's hillside here. And find too much, mostly shotgun shells, pool tabs. I'll save all the pool tabs for the hunt. 
so you might want to mind sending 10 or 12 or 20 or 50 or something like that. I appreciate it. Not even two feet from that buckle if I found a mini bull. That's pretty heavy. I don't know what size that is, but uh, damn. A nice white patina in it. and Looks like it's been rolled or something. Yeah, it might be Civil War there. Alright, get back to you. Yeah, this must be a, like a heel of the shoe. Like tap dancing or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. But, that was pretty deep. And it was on that uh, hillside and then a tree fell over. Muscle loader bullets. Two of them inside each other. Not that old, but probably in the 60s, maybe. I'm down here where me and Diggin' Pennsylvania was, where I find them Barber Dimes and V Nickels, Indian Heads, and stuff like that. And that found that Barber Half about, oh, up on the top of this hill here. It's pretty cool down here, no sun up here, down there. Uh, I don't know if these are mini balls or sinkers, I think they're mini balls. A weird shape though. I don't know if they're fired or whether. Like I don't know, that's pretty old. That's I don't know if it's dropped or what. Alright, get back to you. Well, we found that one in wheat penny. Didn't get stunk though. I had never seen a bullet like that. It was like five rings on it. Real heavy, it was about four or five inches deep. Damn. Yeah, somebody can tell me what that is. It looks like a muzzle loader, but man, man, that's heavy. Damn. Wow. Never seen one like that. All right, get back to you. Yeah, come across a clad penny down here, but a pavilion in the woods there. A big pavilion there. That's old. Yeah, I found another one about 10 feet from that. This is where I found this trail here. I found that uh, pop-out coin that uh, was in 1918 um Pop out uh, standing Liberty Quarter. I sold it for like 50 bucks. Needed the money, but I regret it now. So, all right, get back to you. Getting dark. Sun's all over the horizon, so I don't got too much time. Just working myself back to the truck. Yeah, I'm home now. Uh, this is a 1913 week. Uh, 1960, 72, I mean, 94, this is, one guy told me it was like a 45 caliper Civil War bullet, it's pretty big, it was like five ringers or something, I think it's three, but it's, I think it's, I don't know if that's, for that sh that's sure or not. And a lot of other bullets, a pigeon thing, I cleaned that up a little bit, that's a big ass ball, they got a, I don't know what it is, 
but uh, musket balls, there's another round ball, mini ball, that's pretty heavy. There's a lot of other ones, yeah, maybe a ribbit. I saw that and down at the, the park, that was in the, in the middle of the park there. That looks like it's been just fired. Okay, that might be a 22. So, happy hunting. I'll see you next time.